I more or less wish to return at some point. I just need an extended amount of time. Is it time? Do you think it's time? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's time. Come on, let's go. All right, here we go. All righty, and we are set. What? 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 Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Cinema Spotlight. It is about time to dive back in, isn't it? Well, as promised, I am coming back to finish off the filmography with Peter Jackson, starting with King Kong. But to first address the elephant in the room, yes, I have not posted at all. And I do deeply apologize for those who really, really wanted me to come back. Um, I never felt that I was that special. Um, but to be honest with you, 2022 kind of allowed enough reflection to know that it's something I still want to do. But it's got to be on my own terms, and it's got to be in a way that makes sense to me. So one thing's for sure is that uh, fiancé and I, we bought a house, and it is a big surprise. We didn't know what was going to happen, and it ended up happening, and that was probably the best part of 2022. The only thing I can reflect on in saying, that was great. But in any case, though, I won't delay you any further. We are going to get back into Peter Jackson's filmography, as I said, and we are going to start with King Kong. And let's get started. King Kong is a film released back in 2005. It makes the second remake of the film from 1933 and also 1976. It stars Jack Black, Adrian Brody, Naomi Watts, Colin Hanks, Jamie Bell, Thomas Kirchman, and the legendary Andy Serkis playing the dual role of King Kong and the cook Lumpy. Traveling back to this one was very nostalgic for me. I enjoyed revisiting the film almost after 15 years, which goes to the same about Lord of the Rings, only that I watched it enough to probably even annoy myself. I didn't know this until recently, but this happens to be one of the most expensive films ever produced. Starting from 150 million, the budget climbed to a record breaking 207 million. Looking at the film after 17 years, a big, large chunk of this movie holds up, even after three hours of it. The practical work is astounding. The special effects are damn near flawless. Give or take a few moments, obviously, if you're a nitpicker like me. But it's the best you're going to see from a 2005 production, especially from Peter Jackson's crew. Since I started this journey into Peter Jackson's filmography, I had noticed he loves to show off gory sequences and disturbing moments that make your skin crawl. It's kind of his calling card. I mean, ever since I've started this, his first three films are basically called his splatter phase. And at that time, he was very blatant and completely unhinged in the gore department. And it was awesome. As of today, he has tamed that desire, but he shows off his gory flair in subtlety. Everything is perfectly timed for the right amount of response, and it really makes your imagination wander. That should tell you that if you don't like bugs, avoid this movie. The sense of adventure within this film can be ranged from satisfying to completely overwhelming. Once our characters meet up, head to where they need to be, Skull Island, 
they begin their quest and they either have to find Anne or obtain King Kong. And there's not a lot of breathing time. You may get moments here and there where there's not a lot happening, but it, to its detriment, it's quite beautiful and it's quite relaxing for that moment because you know another thing's gonna come up and just ruin the whole thing. There is a sequence where Kong goes up against not one, not two, but three Vastatosaurus Rexes. I totally botched that, but you know what I mean? And it is a creative, intense fight. That's probably my favorite fight scene between creatures to date. I would have to say it is the highest part of the film. So as I'm talking about the film as a whole, let's sink in a little deeper. Let's talk about Jet Black, Naomi, and Adrian. Jack Black's character is Carl Denham, a film director who is obsessed with completing his film as he will do anything to get it done with one slight problem. He's manipulative and not exactly a stand-up guy though, and yet his heart's kind of in the right place. But he's the driving figure in the film that ends up putting this whole thing into motion. So when he meets Naomi's character, Anne Darrow, who's looking for work, this puts her on Carl Denham's radar. Later, when the voyage begins, Anne finds herself falling in love with the lead writer of the film, Jack Driscoll, played by Adrian Brody. If I'm being honest for all the screaming that Naomi does, I do wonder if she just ever lost her voice during production. Kind of how I've lost my voice today. Uh, she screams a lot. <laughs> But instead of just being the scream queen of the decade, in my opinion, she has a lot of physical work done, effective in this movie. I'm surprised that she still has a spine. But when she is not screaming or being thrashed around by a 25 foot prehistoric ape, she's 100% carrying the emotions of this film. Including and not limited to Adrian Brody's character, who stands in for the humanity that Carl is losing over the course of this film. Guys, all in all, between the character pieces and the actual creature feature and the beautiful production, I highly recommend this film. If you don't mind sitting your butt in the seat for three hours and you're actually in for an adventure knowing it's not going to give you too much room to breathe, it is a ton of fun, even if you can't sit through it in one sitting. You know, you can always hit that pause button and go get some snacks. I recommend this one, and for that, I loved King Kong and would own it on DVD. Definitely thinking if I need to change the rating system, but we'll see. Thank you all so much for tuning back in. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and if you do comment, just make sure you're kind, you're reasonable, and we'll talk. I hope you all have a wonderful one. I'll get these more out to you very soon. And once again, thank you all for watching. Until next time.